Seed, Codename Bears, yes. starting off with Zamba and Sauce. Yes. Here we go. And these are the four seeds, I believe? Yes. Okay, so. <laughs> so I love that Zamba immediately utilizes uh, the F Smash projectile. Right. That you get with Link at zero. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be interesting. The um, Master Sword beam. Yes, whatever. You know <laughs> what I mean. Shut up. I don't mean that. I'm, I am Zelda impaired, so. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, I feel like Mario is really good when he gets his hands on Link, but if Azama is able to play around that by, you know, throwing projectiles and also using his sword, uh, things aren't too bad for him either. So, The thing is, though, um, believe it or not, Sauce actually played Roy in the round before. Okay. This is, this is the first time he's bringing out the Mario versus Zamba. Okay. Yeah, I feel, I mean, it could have just been a comfort pick at that point. I'm right. not totally sure. Because uh, I don't even think Mario, like, can put the hurt on Link just because of how he functions fundamentally as a character. Like, he's a grappler, and right. Link is, you know, he doesn't have, once you're able to get past the zone, it's... He's a projectile he's, zoner. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Once you're able to get past that, he's kind of a combo food. But right now, Zama's doing a good job keeping it close. Uh, right. That dash attack just fr uh, frames away from connecting. Gonna recover safely. Zamba using the fair from the ledge. Link's fair is actually like one of his best moves, but that tornado is gonna take Zamba yeah, off the top. That downer is absolutely fantastic. Comes out super quick. Uh, at the low percent, it's a great combo starter. At high percent, it kills. So it does kind of a little bit of everything. Ooh, nice grab. I love the dash dance, kind of like trying to predict the DI. It's smart instead of just waiting. Ooh, but that bomb gonna send him off. Doesn't kill quite yet. Ooh, oh, but, but just kidding, it does. It looks like, uh, I don't know if Sauce had a, a jump left or not, or if he was just trying to recover without right. having to use it, but regardless, Zama getting a bit Ooh. of a break right there. Nice parry from Sauce. We have this really interesting neutral here. I don't feel like Zamba's quote, camping, but he's more so like, he's, his approach is kind of different. Oh my god, air dodge yeah. twice and still makes it back. Oh, okay. Ooh, reads the jump though. I'm gonna make it back. Ooh. See ya. <laughs> yeah, that was just super smart stuff He made stuff it back there. to ledge, but he didn't get to keep his stock. Yeah, uh, good stuff there from uh, Sauce to actually charge the F smash. Um, because he was able to kind of uh, tilt back his hurt box, so that way he wouldn't get nicked by the right. upbeat. So now the down B, it, I realized that Mario's down B is actually like a super good way of initiating. Sure, yeah, it's really good. Um, that forward air not killing just yet. So let's see how Sauce gets off the ledge here. Waiting patiently, watches Zamba go back to center stage. He's like, all right, I can come down now. Nice roll into the grab. Oof, but like, a little bit too much rage on Sauce. Wow, he just did it. That was kind of hype, though. That move, very, very good. The hero spin out of shield. Okay, does not get the up tilt, but still able to uh, punish the tech in place. Going down to last stock, really high percent. Nice parries, though. Ooh, goes for the up tilt. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, gets the weak hit of the fair. Still going to be good damage. Ooh. Had the right idea. I feel like he, yeah, he had the right idea, but just like the roll. Yeah, he just like did a little bit too early. So now going to... You know, throw the flood to keep him on us. Zamba forced to recover low. Jesus Christ. He was, he was definitely holding that. Back air. Okay, forward air gonna buy some time through the. Uh, Zamba using the. Zamba using hero spin to ooh, just like. Wow. Smidge. I feel like he's definitely trying to. He was trying to cheese him out earlier with the reverse hit of the, the hero spin. Because it could have been enough to kidnap him and kill him. Right. Sticky neutral here. Goes for the. Goes for the big noggin. Yeah, I, rightfully so. Like, Zamba's been kind of landing unsafely, like, right on top of him. What I love about Sauce is that I really, ooh, attach, attacks the shield. Up smash out of shield. Easy punish. There you go. He's got the Sauce. So it doesn't need the Phillies jersey to, uh, to come out on top, though. So good stuff there from Sauce as he uh, wins that game for uh, Team Spectrum. And that's or Team uh, Bears, excuse team me. Team Bears. And if we're looking back, um, Zamba actually beat Sauce last week last time they played, so this is an interesting yeah. start. But next we're gonna have Leon Yoda Cage. Uh, Leon, Tri-State's Golden Bowser Boy versus yeah. uh, Philly's DK. <laughs> That's a good one. How do I, how do I like prep that up other than he's a DK player. He's a DK Philly player who really wants to play Bowser Jr. Right. Really Can I just say that Yoda has only played like once today? <laughs> <laughs> and it was first Leon too. That's, oh man. See, that's the problem. That's like kind of like the unfortunate part with like see, with, with like the number positions. It's yeah. just like you could be first or you could be last or you know your team could 3-0 people and then you never get to play. Yeah, exactly. So, so, so far, Yoda Cage's Tri-State Circuit experience is playing Leon. <laughs> <laughs> and all I got was a stupid T-shirt. 
so. And all I got was this stupid t-shirt. So let's see. <laughs> Battle of the Heavies, though. But um, I didn't get to watch this uh, last round when they when they played. I went to the bathroom. But mm -hmm. by the time I came out of the bathroom, it was over. So uh, I don't know. Um, but uh, I can I, only assume. <laughs> I just imagine that, like, DK just has a hell of a time fighting against Donkey Kong. Yeah. Or that, that, uh, DK uh, has a hell of a time fighting, fighting against Bowser. Bowser. It's been a long day so well, far. I got the hiccups. My brain is... is uh, struggling for oxygen. But we left Bears at 3 a.m. We were up at 8.30. <laughs> wow, you guys are insane. Oh, oh he's going Martin! Okay, so oh. Yoda Cage is actually a huge fan of Bowser Jr., <laughs> a.k.a. Morton. He's been using this a lot more in bracket. Uh, yesterday, if you guys didn't know, Codename Bears does a lot of um, does squad strike instead of doubles at yes. the last uh, local of every month. Okay. And Yoda Cage is in love with this Morton. And I he mean, swears by it. I mean, he's probably going for the for the family approach. Like, you wouldn't hit your nephew, would you, uh, <laughs> Mr. Bowser? But needs to say though, he got off to a really strong start. I think Bowser Jr. definitely has, you know, a plethora of, of good juggling tools to keep Bowser in uh, dismay. He's doing a really good job now. <laughs> oh, Ooh! sweet God! Okay, let's go, Yoda Cage. That was a Ooh, Give tough fight down. Not gonna kill just yet. What would you classify uh, Bowser Jr. aka Morton's weight? Would you classify as a heavy or medium? I actually don't know exactly where he falls. Um, he, I'm pretty sure he's a heavyweight though. So right. I don't know. He, he, I think Bowser's the only like true super heavyweight. I think he's like a top ten, top twelve right. character in weight wise. I like wise. the fear from the ledge. Oh my god. Okay. That, god. Oh, reading all these aerial approaches. Yeah. Leon forced to recover low. Recovers unsafely. Goes to the down tilt. Gets the Bro. back air. Not gonna kill quite yet. Yoda Cage. Yeah, he, he's running right up now. Smash. Well, but that the shell down <laughs> says nah. Remember, you're fighting against Leon here. He's one oh, of, no. if not the best Bowser player in the world. Oh, yeah. Hands down, he's the best Bowser player in the world. But, you know, definitely having a, a bit of work to make up Gotta right get now. The Nair. Doesn't get the follow up of Tough Guys. Yeah, Tough Guys is going to be kind of huge in these low right percents. off stage. Leon, not afraid at all, even though he's sitting at 125, following it up. There you go. Leona Cage forced to recover high. Ooh, I love the use of the mech there. He knew. In the Koopa cut. Yeah, he's, he's the spin out being enough to net that kill right there. But Leon doing a good job at least closing the gap percent wise. So it's not going to take too much for him to take this, uh, this stock off Yoda Cage. Oh my oh god, my if Yoda god. Cage lets him. Ooh, down air again. Ooh, oh, goes, Lord. oh my god, just recovers high. <gasps> uh, oh, Lord. Oh my god, he makes it back. That was the back crazy. Game. The spin out again, but the fair is going to say no. This is kind of crazy. That could have gone wrong in like three different positions right there, but wow. So let's see oh what my god. Okay, so he's using the up to kind of like use space, which is interesting. But Mech Koopa coming right in. Shields it. Ooh, Ooh that F smash would have been big trouble. Oh, but nice recovery to the ledge. You know Leon was looking for that ledge trap. Up smash is going to take yeah, it for it. Bears. <laughs> There we go. So did he, he just pop up? Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Bowser Jr. I can see the video now. Is Bowser Jr. really low tier, Koopa? Yeah. <laughs> in a in a best of one in a side event, <laughs> perhaps not. That barely killed too. Wow. All right, and now Juice. <laughs> Juice coming. Up. That was amazing. The I, I actually classic. cannot believe we actually just were experienced that. That was very interesting. And by interesting, that means, like, kind of hype. Yeah, you'd love to see you it happen, man. You ever just pull out your pocket secondary, and you're like, this is it. Every time. Every all the time. <laughs> Every time I've done it, it works. So now we have the number one seeds, uh, Juice versus Dark Matter. Uh, how the this rematch. went last time was Dark Matter actually two stock Juice. Um, he kept him out pretty well with the Nairs and the Bears, so I'm not going to say he camped, but... Did he go and Falco or Zero Suit? He went Falco, so okay. I, he's probably going to go Zero Suit. He was very, very determined when he walked in here. He looked at Beast and he says, I'm going zero suit. And the King Miles <laughs> tag is out, so I think he's going zero suit. He's going to reset his controller, and here he is. There Bears is up 2-0 on Spectrum while this went to a game five last time. But here we go. Going to town and city, like the stage. And here we yeah, go. Yeah, so Dark Matter being the uh, last hope right now, or yeah, potentially last hope for the Spectrum team right now. So let's see. Now this is, oh, my oh God. Lord. Going, starting off really aggressively from Juice. It's something that I really like about his play style is that like, 
He spaces really well, but he's never really, like, quote, running away. Gonna yeah, he's, he's, he's aggressively camping. <laughs> Angry camping. But, like, again, his positioning is just so good, and um, the, explosion, the explosive factor of Zero Shoot Samus is absolutely fantastic, Ooh! and that's oh, not killing just yet. Lives. Ooh, but Dark Matter go safely recovering to the stage. Ooh, gonna get the phaser, phaser whip? You call it the phaser whip? I, I call it the plasma whip. The plasma whip. Ooh, okay, that dash attack is gonna get punished. But the beautiful part about Zero Shoot Samus is that disadvantage is not existent. Ooh, okay, nice get up attack. Ooh, gonna whip him again. The wiggler. <laughs> That's okay. As <laughs> <laughs> the crowd shows her dismay. Ooh, there we okay. go. I love the kind of like the jumping away, kind of forcing him into an option and then punishing accordingly. Juice. Yeah. The, Doing the, this aggressive running away thing that you talked about, Koopa. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> like, it's just a, it's so dangerous. Like, or it's a gamble to play against Ness. Ooh, I love the crawl away grab. There we go. Stick what was up. giving Juice a lot of trouble in the first time that they did this was um, he was getting hit by a lot of like random PK thunder and fire, but he's seeming to like kind of like feel it out now where it feels like Dark Matter is kind of chasing him. Yeah, like Dark Matter, he's been treading water since the game started. Right. Um, and also Zero Suit Samus doesn't Ooh, have to nice. like worry about PK fire and like advantage shade or disadvantage shade as much because she can just flip jump away from most things. Oh Ooh, boy. Oh my god. He's just out of jump. No, just All kidding. He's allowed it. He's, Juice really has no fear right now. Goes for it again. Oh, does <laughs> untackable or just not? Uh, I think he might have been able to tech that. He just wasn't in. Definitely he, wasn't ready. Yeah, he just didn't. He just <laughs> it, didn't. It happens. Professional commentary. He just didn't tech. <laughs> Okay, PK Fire is going to buy Dark Matter at least some time to reset neutral. I love how I think Dark Matter needs to uh, focus on the fact that every single time uh, PK Fire hits, Juice is running away. Even yeah. to like a, see like he's dashing back. Yeah, the hard part for Ness in that situation is that Ness just isn't that like fleet of foot on the ground. Uh, so Juice can kind of just get away with that. Ooh, okay. Trying to down smash on the ledge once again. The Plasma Whip again will find Respite, and that's going to be two stocks. Uh, or do you have two stocks to Dark Matter's one right now? That down air really started off this stock strong for Juice right now. Ooh. Yeah, Juice Whipped looking. through the PK fire, but still the lingering hitbox hits. Juice is doing a really good job of poking Dark Matter's shield. I've noticed that. Ooh. Okay. Well, able to Ooh. skirt around to get up attack and to buy it some time. <laughs> nice parry on the last hit of the plasma whip. Gonna get the forward air, though. Dark Matter needs the stock now. He's eating up a lot of percent just from extra credit on Juice's second stock. Yeah, like Juice can just kind of put the brakes on and like Ooh, use the close. SS's range to his advantage right now. Takes the, takes the down smash and gets the up air. Dark Matter sitting at 69%. Let's see what the response is from Juice. Again, these the lead against Ness can slip away very quickly because of how explosive this character is. Right, but these, these aerials out of shield are really helping out Juice here. Okay. The jab combo. Ooh, Ooh. that would have been curtains, Poopa. Okay, Dark Matter just playing a lot better on Juice's shield right now. Juice has kind of put the brakes on, uh, you know, the, the movement showcase he was putting on earlier. Playing once again. Ooh. PK Fire is such an interesting move. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really, really is good. Is that going to be it? No, not Ooh. yet. Juice just thrown out the whip. It's like, it's got to hit eventually, right? Oh, and, and hate Bears to see it happen. takes out the number one seed of Spectrum. 3 0. <laughs> jo Beast very happy he doesn't have to fight Biddy again. Yes. <laughs> yes. Hey, it's a good stuff there. But that was a really great, that was a really, like, strong.